Okay. All right. Okay, let's go. I think I should take a rest now. Abey, tu idhar bhi aa gaya? Kya? Mera video kab banao gaya? Oh no! Banaa raho mere baap, sabar rakhega, banaa raho. What's up people? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whatever time you're watching the video, uh, this is yours, Ganesh, and you're watching my channel, Beardo on Enfield. So guys, uh, today's video is all about uh, how to install or how to mount an action camera on your uh, helmet, a full-face helmet. Uh, most probably, yes, a full-face helmet. So let's get started with the video. mount Hey, hey. So uh, this was the amount I was talking about which is very easy to install on a helmet. I'll quickly tell you how it has to be installed on your helmet now. The reason behind uh, giving disclaimer is to let you know guys that uh, the product which I have bought recently that was actually ordered 3 months back and uh, that time it was quite cheap so I had ordered it but then due to uh, this quarantine period uh, the order was delivered very late and uh, yes I know the product is Chinese but then uh, I would say that uh, due to the reason it was ordered earlier so because of which uh, I don't want people to point out at me and uh, raise questions against uh, all this thing. the things which we already have we can't throw it out so things which we are going to buy later on that we need to avoid that's what called Atmanirbhar Bharat so please uh, don't blame me for that it's not, uh, yeah, yeah, it is Chinese, but then it was uh, bought a while ago, so I get to unbox it use it and use it. So, quickly unbox it and uh, let's get uh, started with the video. But then, uh, so for the unboxing, there is nothing much, but then, uh, so yeah, you can see the packaging here. It says uh, helmet strap mount with something Chinese or Japanese. I don't know what exactly it is, but it, I think it's uh, Chinese, and some instructions are given uh, on the back side as well. So the name of the brand is uh, Telesin and uh, it goes on uh, any of your helmets, any full face helmet. So I'll uh, also show that uh, how to mount it on your helmet, which is uh, really easy. And uh, <laughs> here it is uh, how it looks. It, branding is here, Telesin. Uh, it says School of Gadgets. The design looks very good and it goes on any of your full face helmet. It has to be put on the chin uh, portion of the helmet and uh, it's really a useful gadget uh, into a day to day's uh, life of a rider who uh, needs to do a motor vlogging or you know, who loves to ride and uh, record his actions uh, whenever he's on a ride or wherever outside somewhere. So this would be really helpful. So I'll just quickly uh, tell you that how to mount it as I said uh, that it would just take two minutes to install on your uh, helmet and they also give an uh, extra uh, strap so in case if you need it i think uh, the length of this strap would be uh, sufficient uh, here is my helmet from uh, xor and that's my channel name beardo on enfield so it would go on the uh, chin portion over here and uh, this is how uh, it would look let me quickly put it on and uh, show it to you so the process is really simple uh, you don't need to do any kind of cleaning or polishing on the chin portion and uh, the simple thing you have to do is you have to put it over here the place wherever you want it i want it at this position so i can easily open the uh, vents over here so yeah one more thing uh, this have uh, this kind of buckles this type of buckle so what you have to do is once you put it on the chin portion you have to put this in like this 
and then you have to pull it back then you have to pull it back and simply lock it like this so this is how it's going to hold on the chin portion of your helmet this is the bucket over here and you have to buckle it up like this same goes with the second one as well right now uh, just for your knowledge um, i have kept it loose you can pull it as per your convenience from inside over here and you can uh, tighten it as per your convenience open it pull it back and then buckle it so uh, this is how it would be looking once you install it over the chain portion of your helmet and uh, whenever you don't want to use it you can remove and keep it uh, so that's one benefit and the second thing is that uh, in uh, most of the videos you might have seen that people use uh, this kind of uh, flat and uh, curve mount this one is a curve mount so people use this kind of uh, 3m tapes which are already uh, attached stick to it and they put it over the helmet like this because of which what happens there uh, the surface of the helmet gets dirty and it doesn't look good so, uh, so all the pros are there in front of you and uh, if i'll talk about the uh, cons then if you're installing it on the uh, chain portion of your helmet and uh, if you're tightening it in excess it might uh, get cracks like this uh, so that's the only con about this if you're taking care of it and uh, if you're using it in the proper way then uh, it won't get damaged uh, in a year or two so uh, once uh, the strap is installed on the helmet what uh, you need to do is you will need a j hook j mount or j hook whatever you call it and uh, you need to simply drag it down it's firm and sturdy and then you will need to put your action camera over here there you go the chin mount strap j hook and your action camera no stains or uh, no damages on your helmet so guys uh, if you like the video then uh, do let me know in the comment section below so i'll be uh, able to make some more videos like this for you like this for you and if you're new to the channel then make sure to subscribe bas na bande ha ghante bhi baja dena make sure to hit that uh, bell icon as well so that you will be notified for the next uh, future videos